Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Renekton in the top lane for your best runes possible. You want press the attack, triumph with alacrity, last stand, second win unflinching with double AD and armor. You can go for bone plating, but if you're against a poke style matchup like Evane, Teemo, Malphite, Cannon, then second win is the way to go. Also, if you're up against a poke matchup, you can't go wrong with D shield. An easy way to handle a poke matchup is to perma shove wave with your Q and heal off of them with your Q and against the minions at the same time. In this case, I don't want to. Malphite is one of Renekton's lowest win rate matchups. Renekton has a 40% win rate. Wait, yeah, Renekton has a 40% win rate against Malphite in the top. So we want to let him shove to us early and relax. We need space to kill this guy. We do not want to shove the wave down. Now we're certainly not going to give up CS, but we're going to be really submissive because you can't kill him early. There's no way to. You just set yourself, up, you set yourself up to die to the enemy jungler. Level one, you generally do want Q against this matchup. It'd be fine for me to start W, auto attack, W, reset, and apply or press the attack since I don't want to shove the wave. Yeah, he's playing really far back. But generally, you do want to start Q. You can auto attack Q, reset, or just walk up, hit, hit a raw Q, and run away. We're going to let him be the big man of the lane for a while. We might miss some CS. It is what it is. Auto attack Q. Auto attack W. Now we have more space to kill him. And he doesn't have Ignite. We gave him this false sense of security. And uh, we're going to kill him. Auto attack Q. Down he goes. The best way to handle the matchups where it's simply not a killable matchup like the Malphite is just do exactly what we did there. Make them feel safe, hit your level two, hit your level three, and then you can look for a longer trade since you have more of the lane to chase them down on. They'll probably also just think you're a bad player. Auto attack, double reset, and the Q. We'll kite them back on our minions. Oh, we almost had him. That was really close. That was really, 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 really close. My minions might actually kill him. Oh, the cannon stop. Oh, we got him. What a play. All right, first item rush. We are going to go for Bork. Borkin for the Porkin, as one might say. We'll pick up that and that. I'm not even going to buy a health potion. My wave didn't quite fully crash. Bork's really good on Renekton for his auto attack W reset combo. You can apply the Bork instantly. It's three procs, which each proc is doing... 12% uh, of the current health, plus if you apply on hit effects three times, it does the bonus magic damage, slows them, and speeds you up. So, Bork's insane on Renekton. Synergizes well with your press the attack. After Bork, your highest win rate mythic right now is Prowlers, which is really interesting. You can go for Prowlers or Sunfire. Sunfire if your team needs a front line, otherwise go for the Prowlers. Against their team, I'm actually thinking that... Uh, I'm actually thinking that it's a Sunfire type of game. We're still going to go for Q max first because the damage is there and the healing's there. Auto attack W reset. Your Q has quite a bit more range than your autos, so you can kite out melees with it a bit. His way should push to us since it reinforced first. We want to smack him with an auto W reset. We have item advantage. He's going to keep poking us. It's not doing much though because of our D shield second win. Trying my best to only last hit since we want to give ourselves ample space to chase him for an all-in fight. Our W instantly shreds shields, uh, rips shields off immediately. The shield's only so good against our W. We have our Fury. Whenever you have Fury, it empowers your abilities whenever it's red. You basically need 50 Fury for an empowerment. He's playing really far back. He knows. I'm letting the Arcane Comet hit AoE on the wave. I think my, his wave's reinforcing first, but I'm hitting the minions more than he is. We might actually be best off just dumping it and resetting it at this point. He's willing to give up a lot of CS to where I don't want to be messing with this too much. He's level 5 now. I can look to get a ward down since we crashed wave. 
I'm going to go for a really, really deep one. Well, I guess this is a fine spot. I don't want him to go Krux and then gank me and get by on my award. Yeah. Yeah, your W applies on hit effects three times. So your W alone will apply your press the attack. And then if it's empowered, it shreds shield instantly. Your Q basically just does more damage and heals you more. Your E basically just does more damage and shreds some armor. You almost never use your empower E though. I'm gonna have to E into him though. He's not willing to play up. Auto W reset, Q, auto attack E. He's not willing to play up anymore after we tricked him the first time. So now we're gonna, gonna have to rely on just really short bursty trades. E again, auto W reset, Q, E out type of thing. It's fine. Warwick's going mid. I need to get some health back here. We can take his camps. This Malphite's not willing to play the lane. He's giving up a lot of CS to play the way he's playing. Where's he getting all this movement speed from? He's getting it from my Talia, apparently. All right, Lux. Interesting. Malphite's trying to shove the wave. If I had Flash, I would have gone right over that snare and killed her. He's not able to push it fast enough. He's going to run himself out of mana. The D-Shield second win is the best thing to run people out of mana. These poke style champs. If you're trying to dump the wave as fast as possible, you essentially stand in the middle and dump it with Q. In this case, I don't want to dump it, though, because I'm on a freeze. So we're chilling. Scion's just sitting there leeching XP. What a goofball he wanted his level 6. He's hitting it kind of late for just full clearing. This is definitely a Sunfire game, though. Your W applies on hit effects three times when it is uh, empowered. So we heal off of that guy, bop this one, and try to freeze it where it's at. He has two more minions. You generally want them to have four more range creeps than what you have. Pop attack W reset. Couldn't quite get it. So we're chilling. Yeah, normal W it applies on hit effects twice. So two press the attacks, two borks. And your empowered one applies it three times. This isn't a true freeze where I have it. It's too close to my turret and he only has two more ranged creeps. There's no way to true freeze it from this position. I need to keep that ranged minion alive for as long as possible here. He may not realize it's not a true freeze though. Get him with our stun into a Q. And we kind of have to hard shove it now. You generally go for an E max second, W max last. We can heal off the minions and ideally off of him as well. He's standing so far back though. All right, Warwick's bot side. I'll look to take some of his camps. Oh wait, Lux is over here. Yep, yeah, this must be worded. Auto attack W reset, we got our R on, ignite. Yeah, I'm not interested. A little bit forced on my part. We should still be able to get away. Oh, that landed, what? Get him stunned underneath turret. We get the kill, it's worth, but man, that was really messy. Definitely worth. He misses the minions too, but I didn't really plan on dying there. We can get our full Bork now, take some really nasty trades. If you're up against something like a Vayne or Teemo, they'll be squishy enough for you to one-shot them. That's why your worst matchups on Renekton are against beefier boys. Renekton has a 40% uh, win rate against Malphite, against Sejuani, against Alawi, and against Nasus. Matchups where all they have to do is make it to level 6, stack armor, and then there's really nothing you can do against them. All you can do is control the first 5 levels really hard against them, build up a CS lead, and try to play off of your gold advantage at that point. Which is what we've been trying to do. We've also soaked some jungle pressure and some uh, roam pressure. Get him with our stun, Ian Tomb again, auto attack Q. 
you usually queue last in situations where you can't stay on top of them since it has more range than your autos. So that way you can pinch off another auto attack before they get out of your range. He's actually doing quite a bit of damage, all things considered. He's playing so far back, too. And into him again, auto attack Q reset, and now you start to see that damage come out. He almost died there. We didn't have a way to actually kill him because Ignite flash on cooldown, plus we don't have R. But now he's forced to base. Which is good. That's kind of what we want. We get to heal up off our Bork. Bada boom, there we go. Warwick's bot side, so we could try to keep him off of his turret. It's going to be easier said than done. He's going to try to walk through us. We'll try to stop him from doing that. Built up my fury there without wasting it on my Q. And now you can't really get bias. He's going to miss out on a lot of minions. Auto attack W reset. Try to walk past me now that my stun's on a cooldown. I get the plate gold plate gold. I think someone might be rotating. Auto attack. Gotta heal up and leave. Warwick could be rotating to us. I don't feel like dying for this. I'm gonna run straight away from the Malphite. I also wasn't sure where Lux was. Malphite lost an absurd amount of CS there. Like a super, super, super high amount. Oh, he's res. Oh, wait. I thought he was resetting. Apparently, it's just Lux. Auto attack, don't reset. Ignite, auto attack, Q. We get our flash and barrier once again. I don't know why Lux keeps trying to mess with us here. It's kind of weird. It's kind of uh, interesting to see. They're doing so much chasing, they're missing so many minions. Need to get above half health. Auto attack W reset, get our R on, walk into them for a big Q. Down Lux should go from the minions there. And yep. Uh, Warwick's dead, but I do still have blood scent on me. I want to go dump this wave real quick. I should be able to heal up rather quickly. R gives you a bunch of HP and a bunch of burn damage around you, similar to a Sunfire. Your R is incredibly good for all in, similar to how it is for Nasus. It also gives you a bunch of Fury, so you'll be getting more empowered abilities and whatnot. Or it could be coming up to us. I don't think he has the same amount of items, though. Nice. We're finally above half health now. I don't think I'm going to be able to get behind the turret in time to stop Malphite. I don't think we'd be able to stop him either. He's going to have his R this time. Auto W reset. You can't actually W the turret. He gets the minions thinking his turret's going to help him, but his turret was too low. He loses this because we have Bork. Auto attack E, auto attack Q, E. Try to mix in your E's in between your auto attacks. Use your E's in auto attack resetter. Use your W's in auto attack resetter. And you low key use your Q's in auto attack resetter. Do keep in mind that your W and your Q both have more range than your base auto attack range. So if they're getting away from you, usually you auto first. It's like auto W, auto, auto. You stay on them as long as you can, then you'll whip them with a Q. Go ahead and pick up Prowlers and Boots. Renekton's an incredibly messy champion. If you want to play a champion where you're never going to die and you just AFK power farm, he's not that type of champ. To play him requires you to be aggressive and... I don't want to say risky, but you'll end up in those type of situations because he doesn't have the best escape tools. The only way he can escape is if his E's up. If his E's on a cooldown, he really doesn't have a way to escape. These guys are popping off mid. I have flash and R and everything. I'll stack up my fury on this guy right here and go tear him up. We have prowlers. Usually lead into your combo if you're trying to one-shot someone with prowlers because it makes you do 15% more damage to them. So... I'm gonna prowler, I'll attack over reset. Hit him with a Q. E through him, I don't because I want to be able to stay on top as he fears me away. He's got nowhere to go, and I still have my flash. 
Even though Lux lands Snare, they can't stop you out of your Prowler dash. You can get on top, auto attack, W reset, Q, come out, auto attack, E reset. Now what we need to do is not throw our gold. We have all this shutdown. If they kill, so they get a thousand gold. As long as we don't throw that, it's going to be really hard to lose the game. Because they'll be at a huge gold deficit. I'll attack W reset. I'll attack Q. I'll stay and kill the Warwick. When you have a gold lead, you don't want to be farming your jungles. Your jungler's jungle. You want to be in the enemy's jungle. Let's see where Warwick goes to. He might go bot lane here. Or he might go for his red buff. Could go for his Gromp. No, so he went bot side. So now what we want to do is go mid. I don't think this is worded. So we want her to use snare. Okay, your snare's down. Now we kill her. We'll E towards her. Auto attack W reset Q. One empowered W completely applies your Bork and your press the attack. It's disgusting. The burst on it's so good. The squishies absolutely melt. So instantly you're doing 36% of their current health. Plus the base damage on the Bork. So 111 right now. Uh, plus applying your pressy attack damage. <laughs> this is so much all at once. And that's not even including the W base damage. So, yeah. Very nutty. 500 base damage right now. Holy crap on the W. We have okay CS since we don't have teleport. Auto attack W reset. The reason why you go for Emac second. The cooldown... Is more important on your E for mobility. And on top of that, the armor reduction is really, really nice for your empowered E's compared to your empowered W, I suppose. All prowlers on his head here. Auto attack W reset. Q ignite. Auto attack E out. Hey, Warwick. Auto attack Q reset. So they're going to be rotating. You see how are the farthest person up on the map? If you're ever wondering, oh, am I going to get ganked? Look to see where you are on the map in relation to your teammates. If you're the farthest person up by a lot. Yeah, see, there's like three of them here. Orc's going to try to army. His teammates are pretty far behind him, though. If he would jump on me, like right now, I would kill him. I know his teammates are here. Auto attack, double reset, Q. Auto attack, E. Got our R on. We'll go for the Lux. She's nearly dead. She does have tier two boots, which is somewhat problematic, but we can make it work. Third low cooldown on our E. As long as your E hits something, it gives you the second charge. I always double check the abilities. They make changes to even the older champions. They'll add things for it's been for less than a year and a half is when they added Renekton's W to Shred Shields and Power W. So if they have a Jauna Shield or Malphite Shield and you hit them with Empower W, snaps it instantly. Like a twig. It's time for Sunfire. Oh wait, we already went for Prowlers, huh? Okay. <laughs> then we'd go for Black Cleaver at this point. We still don't have tier twos, but we have Prowler in our E dash. So if we can see someone, we can usually close with E and Prowler. I could afford full Black Cleaver. The only reason I didn't get boots for your boots on Renekton. It's pretty much always plated or mercs. If you didn't take tenacity in your runes, you normally go for the mercs. Against their team, mercs is the way to go. Warwick Fear, Malphite Slow, uh, Malphite Attack Speed Cripple, Lu Lux Nair, Lux Slow, Pantheon Stun, Braum Stun. These guys are in trouble. I don't have any Fury built up here. Focus on the turret. They're all spawning in right now and dragons up. We don't really need to stay. I'm hesitant to uh, dive them here. Auto attack W reset, Prowler, auto attack QE. Let me get that off the E. Yes. Let's go. Big Q's healing off of everybody. E's back up. Auto attack. Double reset. Q. Oh, we E out. Let's go. And we don't want to throw this shutdown. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't think we could end here anyways. We're all too low. 
I'll attack the reset Q and they quit. The power of Renekton. We'll go ahead and do a part two uh, to give you guys a flavor of another matchup. Renekton's a lot of fun. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. This time we are up against Sonar. A little bit of a coin flippy matchup. We definitely could have gone for a Doran Shield second win. It wouldn't have been bad, but I want to all in him. We're going to avoid taking poke unless we can trade with him. I don't mind him pushing on us early. We don't have a great way to trade with him unless we start E and try to all in him. I'm not a big fan of that. Renekton power spikes hard level two and level three. Level two, he gets big. Level three, he gets massive. So I'm fine with him shoving early. We'll start Q so we can get all three of these melee creeps. It's an easy way to uh, heal off the damage they try to poke you with when you go in for them and to still get them. I don't want to let him get that. He's greedy. He didn't start Q. He started with his triple on hit. Uh, he's confident. All right. I wouldn't have recommended that. We're going to all in him. He's going to get absolutely devastated. Maybe he didn't mean to start with that. He started flee and uh, resolve trees. He's about to hit level two. As long as you get the XP, it's whatever. I, I don't mind them building up a false sense of confidence. They'll play up. They'll think you're bad. And you give yourself more space to kill them in the lane. You're also harder to gank, and it's easier for your jungler to gank them, so. There's a lot of upside. We can start to look for a bigger trade on this guy. We'll take Brush. Auto attack Q. We'll E out, because he has a big way of pushing into us. I don't really want to miss all of these, though, is the thing. He's tanking some minions. He's level 3. That's not good. Yeah, this wave really needs to come a little bit closer to us. And on our level three, we'll look for the all in. E into him, auto attack Q, ignite. And down he goes. We didn't even need level three there. We had enough damage. He got overconfident after big form. He's going to have to play a lot safer. Plus, we had ignite advantage on him. That was not going to go well for him. Nar will outscale us for team fights, but in these first kind of early levels, there's only so much he's going to be able to do. Get him with our W. I'll attack Q reset. He jumps away. We can kill him on our next E setup. His jump should be on cooldown for longer than my E, especially since I led him with E, he reacted with his. I could even just flash on his face hole. Auto attack. I'll attack W reset, and then I was going to Q him, but he died, so it's whatever. This lane is now over. To win this matchup is Gnar. You want you don't want to push Renekton in because you give him too much space to chase. And when Renekton has a lot of space to chase, he will kill you. So, that was his main mistake. Gnar, this is more of a submissive matchup for him where he needs to kind of just play back wait for ganks try to hit level six and play for team fights renekton is going to be playing for kills and playing for the split push we'll grab pickaxe double long into a uh, control ward we don't need a potion well i gotta chew this real quick my bad I have this bowl of, uh, it's a quinoa salad with a bunch of different veg in it. Cherry tomatoes, black olives, it's got some navy beans, some, I think that's cilantro. Maybe it's parsley, I forget. Then it's got some uh, cucumber, some, uh, some of those tangy olives. I forget what they're called. It also has normal olives, but that's not the point. We're back in lane. He's pushing it into us. Ideally, we'd like to build up Fury. My ease up, though, we can look for the trade. Auto attack W reset. Auto attack Q. I want to trade away now because our abilities are on cooldown. And he's about to go big Gnar form. We're going to lay our control word more defensive since he has wave advantage on us. He has the lane prior. Auto attack into the Q. I set up my Q to where I wouldn't wipe the whole thing. I have R advantage, so I'll take it. Auto attack Q. I'm going to hold on to my R for as long as I can. And uh, I could freeze it from this position in theory. I would rather just dump it though. He's super low. I still have my R. There's no reason to use it there. 
it wouldn't have given us enough damage to kill him, and it also has a cast time, so... I think it would have been pretty pointless, and it would have scared him away immediately to where he wouldn't have wanted to fight us at all. Let's go ahead and get a plate, and we'll leave. Alright, we're out of here. We got the gold, and we're down. He misses a fudge load of gold and XP. He already missed four or five minions. Now he's going to have to farm on any turret. He didn't even get all of his health back because he was in such a hurry to leave base. Pick up that and this. Get as much of our Bork as possible. Bork is such a good power spike. Once again, because your W applies on hit effects twice. And if it's your empowered W, it applies it three times. So an auto W reset. If your W is empowered, you just applied Bork four times. Which is essentially 48% of their current health. Down the drain like that. Not including base damage from your W, which is quite high. Plus the press the attack damage. Chunks. We have the wave in a freestyle position. He's already missing health. He's not tanky. We can definitely uh, chunk him here. I'll look for it. He's going to go in the last hit. He pulls away. He has enough minions to where... Whenever you slice through the wave, if you don't want to shove it, it's going to shove. But he has so many minions to where even though I'm dashing, slicing and dicing through the wave, it's whatever. Your E level 1 only does so much damage. Oh, that sucks. I burnt my... I burnt my ignite for that. That kind of ticks me off. That was an epic fail. A little unfortunate. Diana is still chilling mid. We still have our R. Never really had a use case to use it here. We're going to E and Q, E out. Want to get these melees handled so I can dump my casters. So the turret's super annoying. We can stop him from coming back to his turret. Wish I had a ward. That'd make it a bit easier. Auto attack dub reset. Oh, I missed my E over the wall somehow. I don't know how I even did that. My E, I put it like, I thought I put it perfectly over the wall. Apparently not though. Okay. <laughs> how did I not go over that wall, dude? I must have hit it at a fat angle on the fattest part, like diagonal instead of just going over. Cause we dashed through them to get our E2 and then just pfft, wasted it. I'm glad the gold didn't go to Nar though. That's more optimal for us so we can stay in lane, split, push, and dominate. This game's getting kind of bumpy off that. We're in such a good spot. We're still in control. It's just throwing off our tempo a little bit. We definitely should have gotten away, though. That was my misplay. He crashes his wave. I'm probably going to miss... I'm going to get XP from that, so I only really missed one minion in terms of XP. I'm going to dump this wave. Rengar's playing really aggressive. I'm probably just going to get camped, to be honest now. Diana hasn't reset yet, though. Eh, it was kind of worth it. Oh, he just killed himself. Eh, maybe it was a bait. I don't know. Diana still hasn't backed is the thing. I'm going to flash on his head, auto attack W, reset him. Down he goes. I didn't even go for the auto reset because I didn't want him to flash away immediately if he had flash. Or to dash. So I just flash, W'd, auto attack Q. You don't have to auto then W, you can W then auto if they're trying to get away from you. Miss some minions, it is what it is. Still gonna get the plates. I don't know where Diana is, she might go mid. She's probably not gonna go bot. Bot's not gankable. 50-50 she, so she comes here or top. Sure enough, she comes top. She has a full item, Essence. She went for Night Harvester. It looks like Essence Reaver the color, but it's the AP item. Night Essence Reaver is the AD item that gives mana back. I'll attack Q. 
build our Fury off this. We could definitely solo Diana. Especially with our Fury stacked. I should have just waited and brushed. Auto attack. Ooh. Auto attack. Don't reset. Ignite. Q. Auto attack. E. Auto attack. We destroyed her and she has more gold spent than us. Like destroyed. Now we are two levels up on her to be fair, but still. If I had Bort, she would have been popped like a grape. Hey, we got plated. Let's go. I better not lose turret here. Carol's only going to scrape two plate in a sliver. She laid it too early. They're not even going to get my turret. Nar does get a lot of gold out of it, though. We're both on plated right now. I need to take his turret ASAP. He's getting a lot of freebies with Diana coming top so much. It's bailing him out. It's throwing our tempo. We can walk up to him underneath turret, hit him with W, auto attack, Q, reset, E out. Or E into him, W, auto, Q, E out, and take one turret shot. If you can do more than a turret shot worth of damage to them, and all you're taking is a turret shot, it's worth. That's what exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk up to this little butthole. Auto attack, Q. And he flashed, right? And he still took more damage than us. I think Rengar kills, though. Nice. That's good. We definitely didn't need it because we could have just done exactly what we did again when our E was up. And uh, if he didn't have flash, I think he would have died. We would have had the damage to shred him down. That's the Bork, man. When you when you hit Bork on Renekton, you can do some ridiculous damage. It's his highest win rate and it basically is his only picked first item rush. On all of his eight top builds, it is his first item rush every single time. You could, in theory, go for Kraken. But Kraken's been nerfed. Plus, it doesn't give you the slow or the healing. So, I guess it's time to roam until he shoves up. We don't want to be caught way too deep. Good back and get a nice little chunk of items here. Where I could go in for the Ari underneath turret, hit her with a stun, force out her R. Ooh, this Lux is going ham. She just needs to push the minions, so. I'll, I don't have Ignite. If I had Ignite, it probably would have killed her. We gotta move. Oh, Lux wasn't paying attention to the minions at all. She got greedy. I could stay and kill Nar topside here, is the funny thing. I could, but his wave's going to be pushing to me anyway, since he's going back there. We could go bot side. It's a tough call. I am going to go for Prowlers, because they have a lot of champs that are going to be hard to stay on top of. If they have a bunch of champs who are going to try to kite you out, Prowlers is incredibly useful. If you have to be the front line for your team, then you go for Sunfire pretty much every time. But uh, majority of the time, 8 out of 10 games, you go for Prowlers to stay on top. Get that burned down with your R, beat him with your Fury. They have the Senna, the Nyla, and Nar are going to be trying to kite me out. Same with the Ari. I'll dump wave. Go. Ooh, he stayed. He's a greedy little boy. I'm going to eat him up. Candy. I don't even care about the wave. Nar, you're going to die. I don't care if I miss two, like, two waves of minions. Let's do it. Let's rumble. We got the kill. Diana was top once again. Super annoying. I wish she wasn't just always there, man. She's not playing around her bot side at all. It's just top permanently. We need Prowler so we can stay on top of our victim. Having that extra dash would have made a huge difference there. We're having to walk towards him. We're eating auto after auto from Diana. This isn't really the spot we want to be in. Getting ultimate value isn't, oh, I fought him 1v2 and got a kill. That's not that's not what you want when you're ahead. It'd be better for me to stay alive and waste Diana's time than it would be to trade off one for one. Because me and Nar are both basically getting the same amount of gold if we're both passively getting the linear baseline. That means we're not utilizing our lead. I have to stay alive. I should have just grabbed the wave, shoved it, pushed in Diana's jungle, and killed her. 
That would have been the move. Nar is going to have a Divine Sunder soon, and then he's going to be kind of annoying. Rengar is going to give it away. He laid his thing first. I don't even know if that was on purpose. He's probably just trying to use his Oracles. Can he even solo Nar? He legit can't even solo him. <laughs> and I wasted my flash. That sucks. Rengar has way more gold spent than Nar, and he can't even win that. That's a very bad sign that uh, Rengar's already fallen off here. They're all just grouping top. They're all legit just top here. We get off the stun, jabated, and jabated. Yeah, I don't want to die. I'll lay my new control word. I don't care. Auto attack W reset. Ooh, got him. E auto W Q E. We got to get out of here. These nasty little bungholes keep coming top. What is that all about? Everyone wants a piece of what Nars getting. Why is that? I'll stay for this real quick. Ari got absolutely jabated. She thought she was stepping up for an easy. Oh, whoa, whoa, Swain, what are you doing, my dude? You got like 300 health, my guy. Zen is a full item. So basically, the reason why Rengar couldn't kill Nar, Nar was full HP, he was big Nar mode. When Nar is in big Nar mode, he gets a bunch of extra stats. I think he gets HP. I know he gets damage. I think he probably gets armor magic resist as well. We definitely want Death Dance against their team. Death Dance is going to give us a lot of value. Yeah, anyways. Nar was in big Nar mode, and Rengar went Lethality Rengar, and Lethality Rengar sucks. Building Lethality in general is crap unless the lethality item you built was eclipse eclipse is the best lethality mythic because it has max health damage on it and a lot of it if you have eclipse you can kind of chomp people <coughs> auto attack w reset this chick is strong nyla's got some meat on those bones it's tanky as heck Let's go, though. Getting that juicy, juicy gold lead. We can't stay on the split anymore. Their team's rotating a lot. It makes more sense for us to group on team fight. We have a massive gold lead on Nar, gold spent. We have nearly double his CS. Auto attack Q reset. Auto E, auto E. Auto W, auto Q. Got it. Let's take some of their camps while I have my juice going here. I want to get that right there. Blue Ward's OP. Having Blue Ward's the way to go. You can get so much forward vision with zero danger. Ash, are you kidding me, dude? You're trying to steal that. If a non-jungler starts scuttle and a non-jungler comes to like take it, that's like really BM. Whoever starts it is supposed to be the one who gets it, unless your jungler comes by, in which case it's nice to give it to them because they get more XP from it because they're a jungle item. Two of them are mid. I think we're fine, especially with Prowlers. We can stay on our target a lot better now. I think we should fight for this. Nyla's bot side. Makes sense. It might be warded though. I'm going to build up Fury. I don't want to waste it on blue buff. Are you kidding me? That's so dirty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she has Zhonya's and Flash. That wasn't worth it at all. I need to go sit on an actual split push. Because that was not worth it. At least Diana lost her mej. It's kind of nice. We have armor shred on our E and on our black cleaver. Our main downside this game has been limit testing. 
simultaneously they they they're grouping heavy on me because we don't have part of it's because we don't have proper pressure elsewhere on the map to where ultimately i shouldn't be dying to their rotations i need to just back off let them collectively waste their time they're moving around in a poop clog fashion and um uh, it's working because i'm not backing up nyla is on the split kind of rage split pushing we have dragon advantage we have baron advantage she's gonna die auto attack key reset close fight very close fight i haven't seen a fight that close in a while i'm not gonna steal this blue buff i'm just helping him take it faster mm, maybe i should go catch a wave here rengar popped r way too early let him know we're here he is able to get a kill at least we need to use our prowlers more i kind of keep forgetting to use it here you usually want to use it to start your combo because it lets you do 15% bonus damage. Nar might come over here. Auto attack double reset. R hits me with charm, of course. Why wouldn't she? And now I kind of die, I guess. I have nowhere to go, really. That's so annoying, man. They're just the group up on me. Every time I think someone's alone. Like, dude, I was behind the wall. I engaged and Ari's there immediately. Immediately. She was already going for those minions. <laughs> she, she, she was already there. Why? Why? We could go for Surlds next. Get some penetration. Weird fight. Down goes Diana. Nar's out of position. He also didn't have R. Well played to him. He didn't have R. Because he burned it on us. They, um, they almost got us too. That's the frustrating thing. It's just how close they're getting to killing us. It's time to group for Dragon. Otherwise, I'd be on the split. Soaking an immense amount of pressure. Here comes the Nyla. She's double life still. Not going to be very useful with how much CC we have. She's not going to be allowed to move. If you can't move and attack, then life still is pretty useless. All right, it's time to get dragon. We could play Draxol win game for free. Earth dragon with uh, double melee is pretty good. It's going to make us a lot tankier. I mean, it's even good on our range champions. If they try to burst down our squishies real quick, like a Diana... That extra armor, magic resist, and shield makes a difference. Flux lives with an extra 300 health or whatever. E into it. Try to use my prowlers. Couldn't quite reach. Ari's on her own here. Oh, yuck. It's a lot of damage. It's time to take dragon. Well, one of them's top. And they're not contesting dragon. I'm not going to let them get my top turret. See what's over here. Do we have an extra 18% armor and magic resist? That's actually dope. An extra 11 magic resists. It's nearly canceling out Ari Sork Shoes. It does more the more armor and magic resist you build, obviously. I don't know what's warded and what's not warded. And Nar has a yellow ward, so this could be warded right now. Nope, he's in base. I might as well help myself to these delicious morsels then wolves are coming up then blue buffs up looks like they're doing a soft rotation i saw nyla coming over here she may be coming for just uh the minions i don't know i can't be that far forward though when i'm the only one on the map right now even like where i am right now it's kind of risky with where people are on the map diana apparently sees me she always knows when I'm on her blue. She missed her R. One of them dies mid while they're trying to tickle my pickle in blue. Rengar's looking for the pick. And uh, he gets it. Nice. 
Dude, we're not even like getting to play the game anymore. Whenever we go for something, they're stacked or they run away. Time to mindlessly push waves. Auto double reset, E, auto attack Q. Down he goes. That's what we've been needing to do. With Bork and Prowlers, it's very, very challenging for people to actually survive your burst. You have so much stickiness. He even has two items there. Good for him. Eh, I don't really want to stay, to be honest. Ash is low. I don't have R. Yeah, we're all low. Notice how I don't ping my teammates, I just ping the enemies. If you ping your teammates, they take it personally. They'll try to get back at you. <laughs> uh, I guess we could Baron. It, Baron's the bad call though, it's gonna take too long. They're all centered middle right now. I gotta stick around to buy items. I could push in for, this is a terrible Baron call. If this is such a bad Baron call, I can't believe that's actually happening. It's so forced because they're all middle right now. But even though we see two of them bot, they're all almost dead. Like, Nar could go solo them. God, that's just so forced. We didn't need to is the point. If we are desperate, we're behind and trying to get back into the game, then sure. But we're in the driver's seat. Anything that has a high risk is pointless because we have many options that are low risk and still high reward. We could go bot now, shove that wave in. I'll take this. He's up while he's on his gromp. Let him focus on the finer things in life. Lux is apparently going to the right lane since we already have mid and top. There's no reason for these little dingleberries to be over there. Our minions will push there naturally. If they don't catch the wave, then they lose their base. That's how it works. The minions is like having a free teammate to shove for you. Forces them to react. Can take this turret really fast. Attack speed from the board. Hey, friend. Auto attack double reset. Oh, Nara, you poor fool. You're all alone. That's it. That's game. Let's go ahead and mop these guys up. Pop the wall, head straight for the base, and they quit. After all of that, they dragged us through just to quit. Boy, oh boy, let's take a look at the graphs. Looking at damage ult enemy champions, we are higher than everyone on the enemy team, third most on our team for damage taken. We were up there, top three. For self mitigated, we were the most on our team. Runes, pretty high value. All in all, Renekton top lane is a great champion to main. There are times where he's not a great pick, if you're up against a tank top laner, such as Alawi, Malphite, Nasus, it can be quite challenging. But even then, there's ways to work around it. If you guys want to give Renekton... Renekton is an awesome top laner, and I highly recommend him. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.